Hi everybody, this is Eat Sleep here from the Techies. And today I'm going to go over uh, PHP My Admin and a bit of SQL. First of all, PHP My Admin is used if you want to create a dynamic website where things change often. For example, news, you want to add new news every day. Um, it's used so you don't actually have to take down your site in order to update. You can just go into PHP My Admin and just change stuff in there in the database and it will automatically update your site for you. And SQL, Structured Query Language, is used to connect your PHP with your database. So I'm going to start here, start up WAMP server and I'm gonna click on it and we're gonna open up PHP my admin the second one on your list so here it is you should get this little window that pops up here and uh, if this doesn't show up either you don't have WAMP on or you can actually just type it in yourself similar to typing in just a regular PHP code uh, HTTP localhost PHP my admin so here's our um, little panel here. We have databases, SQL status, yada, 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 all that good stuff. So if you want to create a new database which houses information, uh, it's right here on the front page, um, MySQL localhost, create new database. Uh, here you can just create your new, um, your name for your database and collation you can click on that and it gives you this bunch a bunch of these uh, options to choose but I usually use UTF-8 general CI uh, this is a multi-language and uh, very easy to use and probably the best one to use for a dynamic site and your MySQL connection collation you want to have it the same as your collation for the name of the database so I'm just going to create a quick database here, name it just 2 or something. Okay, now, next uh, it tells you the database has been created, and it gives you this uh, SQL right here. This SQL can also be entered through the command prompt of uh, SQL. Uh, we'll look at that right now, actually. Uh, click on WAMP and go to MySQL and MySQL console, and you get this... Um, kind of command prompt come up and if you set a password you can type your password in I haven't so I just uh, hit enter and it goes to thing now you know here it says as you see it says my SQL and then it gives you something to type and now if you know the SQL language you can type that in but I don't know it too well so I just use PHP my admin because it's very simple so back to the uh, PHP My Admin. Uh, after you've created your database, you can create uh, a table name for it and uh, the number of fields. So um, I'm just going to name it 45. Number of fields, we'll do 5. And I'll just hit go. And uh, you'll get this screen with a bunch of values. If you have, if you set four tables, you should have four of these uh, rows here. If you have so on. So the first column is field. Now field is where you want to put the name of your specific thing that you're entering. For example, if you're going to do news, you might want to have date as your first one. Okay. So that's for name of the thing you're putting in. Your next one is type. For type, uh, it gives you tons of options here. Integer, text, date, blah, 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 blah. If you're doing a date, you obviously hit date. If you're doing a some kind of text, like a title or something, you can hit uh, text. And length slash values is how the maximum limit you want your title or anything to be, whatever, 50, 100, whatever you want. Um, default, really, you don't really need to mess with that right now. Uh, collation, again, uh, you're going to want to put that on UF, UTF-8 general CI. 
uh, for all of them. All of them need to be that. Um, attributes, uh, I don't really mess with that either. Null, um, not really sure what that does. And uh, index. For your index, if if this is the first value of your list, then you want to have it uh, primary. And these usually are all primary, not really index. So if you're doing something like that, you want to have it at primary. And um, down here, you can just uh, save this table, or you can add more tables. Yeah, that's pretty much it on this. Thanks for watching. This has been Eat Sleep from the Techies.